When you want to install a plugin, then you have to go to the website of the manufacturer. And in this case, I'm going to fabfilter.com. And on the top of the page is a download page. And I want to download for Windows and all Windows installation nowadays are 64 bits. So I click on 64 bit. Now we have to wait. The download is over here. Now we have to wait before the file is downloaded. If you want to start the installer directly, you can double click on this file, but let's go to the downloads folder because there is where the file is downloaded. And in this case, I downloaded FF Total Bundle 64. Uh, double click on that file. Now Windows will ask if you uh, want to do something with the system. Uh, is this file allowed to? Yes, it is. I know you can't see this uh, this screen, but click on yes. Okay, now you can follow along again. Then um, every step of every setup is a little bit different. But in this case, uh, I'm going to give you an example of, in this case, the FabFilter plugins because they're pretty popular. Um, what do you want to do? Now we want to go and click next. A license agreement, I agree, so I click on yes. Then this installer asks me, because this is a total bundle of all the FabFilter plugins, which plugins do I want to install? Select none or select all. Um, well, I only want to select Pro-Q, so I click next. And this installer asks me, where do I want to install all my plugins? And all plugins under Windows are, VST plugins on Windows are installed in the VST plugins directory, in the program files directory on your hard drive. I agree because that's the standard directory. I click on next. Do I want to install the AAX version? I don't want to install the AAX version because I don't have to, I don't have Pro Tools and only Pro Tools uses the AAX standard. So I uncheck this box and I say next. Okay, it wants to have a destination folder. Um, it installs the plugin, the the hook of the plugin in the VST directory. This is where all the VST uh, program files needs to be. But it also wants to uh, install some uh, some extra components and it wants to do that in the FabFilter directory in the program files directory. I totally agree with that, so I click on install. Do want to show the readme.txt, no I don't, so I uncheck this, this checkbox and I click on finish. Now the plugin is installed. But what if your plugin manufacturer doesn't supply you with such a fancy installer, then you have to install it manually. And most plugin manufacturers will give you a zip file to download, extract that zip file, uh, most browsers, internet browsers will do that automatically, so you don't have to do that. Um, you can find it in the downloads directory that is over here. And you can double click on it to extract it, uh, that zip file, or if it is a DLL because uh, uh, VSD files are DLL files, dynamic linked libraries under Windows. It's an, just a simple executable file, but it's simple executable file that is called by another program, in this case, your DAW. Um, then you can uh, copy paste it to the VST directory. Uh, I don't have a plugin, um, DLL plugin here. Let's use the FabFilter file, for example. Then you can right click and say, um, and say copy and go to the VST file directory and that is on my PC on the C drive double click on that and program files double click on that 
there is a VST. A VST, VST plugins directory over here. Double click on that. Then you have a overview of all the VST plugins that are installed on your computer. You see these are DLL files to paste because you copied your DLL file to paste it in this directory, right? Mouse click somewhere over here and say paste. Um, do you want to install this in this directory? Yes, I want to continue. In this case, I used the uh, installer of an email program that makes no sense, but just to give you an example. So uh, I'm gonna delete it. And that is also the way how to delete your plugins if your manufacturer doesn't supply you with a fancy deinstaller for your plugin. Um, select that file and press the delete button on your keyboard. No, um, in this case it wants to rename the file, press escape. Now this file is selected and I press the delete key and it asks, do you want to remove this file? And I say, continue. Yes, I want to. And now it is in the bin.